Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn a true fingerstyle classic, Windy and Warm, the Chet Atkins masterpiece. Before we start, you need to know Travis picking in order to play this, you know, the alternating thumb movement. But worry not, if you don't know Travis picking, I have a full tutorial on Travis picking called 20 Beginner Travis Picking Exercises. You can uh, practice those exercises and come back, or learn the basic technique and use windy and warm in order to practice that. It's always more fun and a lot more productive to play a technique uh, and learn it and practice it using a song or a composition that employs that technique. So this is a perfect example of Travis picking. Laid back, uh, calm, very, very playable. So um, I uh, transcribed the live version of Windy and Warm, in which Chad Atkins plays it with an orchestra in the background. So um, at the beginning, part one, the intro, you just play a freestyle A minor chord. And then you play chromatics. Okay? B flat to E. Okay, bar on six, E shaped. Strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, and you move it down chromatically one fret down every time till you reach E, the open E chord. Okay, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Kind of like a countdown, um, a musical countdown. So that's the intro, and then you have the main part. This is the main part, and you play it after each subsequent part. Okay, you play this main part, then you play part three, and then again the main part, then you play part four, then again the main part, then part five, and then the main part, of course, and then the ending. So, okay, this is the, the crux of the piece. So it's A minor, and you hammer on zero to two on the third string, and when you hammer it on, you play the bass. Okay? Play the hammer on and the A string together. Okay? The open third string by itself, and then the hammer on to two with the bass string, which starts the alternating Travis picking uh, pattern. Okay, on strings five and four. So the melody is the hammer on to two on the third string, then one, three, one on the second string. Okay? And you can harmonize with the third string. Okay? Okay? While the Travis picking uh, thumb movement is going. Okay? Or without just a single note. Or. And then you have this. Okay? It's bend three, then uh, three one on the second string, and then two again on the third. Okay? Okay, with feeling, okay? while the bass movement is going with the thumb, that's why it's important to know Travis picking beforehand, otherwise it might get a little bit confusing. Then the first lick again, and then you play the A bass once, okay? you stop the Travis picking, you slide from 3 to 5 on the second string with it, and then three on the first string, and then go down, uh, okay, from five to three, slide back down on the second string, pull off to one, okay, okay, and then, okay, two on the third string, and then the first leg again, okay, and then, okay, but without stopping, that was just for emphasis. Play the first lick with the first ending, okay, the, the bending lick, and then you have this. Okay? It's a hammer on to two on the third string again with A. Okay, with A along with the hammer on. And then either the whole chord, strings two, three, and four, or just 
one on the second string, okay, with the second bass note, and then E minor, okay, the sixth string is your bass note now, with the open second string, and then tuple after zero on the third, and then two again with A minor. So it's A minor, E minor, A minor. Okay, and this time, the second bass note, the fourth string, comes around with the pull off. Okay, so it's. Okay, so practice that as well. That's why this song is such a good, uh, you know, practice routine for Travis Becking. So that's the main part. Okay, so. Part uh, three, which is this. It's fairly easy. And then you go back to the first part. So it's a bar on five for A minor. It's five, 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 strings one, two, and three with the open A string. Hey, and you Pick um, all of them all the time. Okay, one, two, three, and five. And on the E string, you have a solo. Five, seven, eight, seven, five. And then on the second string, eight, five. So you play strings two and three, right, for the chord. And you keep the A bass going. Okay? And then it's uh, five, seven, eight, seven, five again on E. And you keep the A bass going. Then you play the first lick, then F, okay, uh, bar and F, bass, chord, 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 okay, and then E, okay, the full chord, strings one, two, three, and six, and it's E major, and then, okay, the open E string, three pull off to one on the B string, and then immediately the main part. So that's part three. You can start Travis picking here if you like. Right? And after you're finished with the second uh, part again, with the main part, you play part four, which is this. F and E ending. Okay, the same as part three. So you start with G and you put the bar on, the bar G, and you play the bass first. And then you play strings one, two, one, two. And then using your pinky, you play six, five, three, five. Okay, you can play the whole chord with it. Okay, strings one, two, and three. Okay, you keep the Travis picking going, of course. And then you have C7, but you have to put it on like this, bar on three, five on the second string with your uh, third finger, because you're gonna need the pinky free for six, five, three, five again. And you play the bass, okay, and you play strings one, two, one, or one, two, one, two again. Now, the alternating bass note can't be the D string now, so you have to play the G string, okay, for the seventh note. Okay, and then, okay, six, five, three, five, got it? And then you do the same thing with F and B flat seven. So on F, it's kind of like G, it's exactly the same picking pattern. Okay, and then for B flat seven, you do, okay, you do uh, four, three, one, three. On the first string, the same fingering as the C seven. Okay, and then you do the F E ending. And go back to the main part. So that's part three. Now, part four um, is a longer part. Okay, um, you start fairly easy and then it becomes a little bit complicated, it becomes a little bit jazzy. So, 
Mm. Right? It becomes A major. You bar the first fret, you play strings two, three, and four, and you slide into two, and then you play the bass. Okay? With the slide. Okay? And then you put five on the E string, and you play strings one, uh, one, two, one, two, one. Brilliant blues turnaround. Okay? It's the E bass. Then you have 3 2 0 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Then 2, 2, and 2. Then 0, 2, and 3. And then you have E. Okay? The E chord. 0, 0, 1, and the 6th string. So. on the sixth string, but you don't go back to the second part. You have another sort of outro. You have uh, this. Okay. Go back to the first part. Got a little bit confused there, sorry. Um, so, after the... Um, the turnaround, you play the A bass, but you put 5-5-6 five, five, on, okay? Okay, it's out of the barred chord, 5-5-6, five, five, and you play strings 1-2-1, one, one, okay? Um, okay, this is the idea, so this is the rhythm here, but here it's, okay, 1-2-1. One, Okay, and your alternating bass note again is the third string. Okay, strings five and uh, five and three. Okay, on six. Okay, for the major note. And then you have three five and six. Okay, and you play strings one two one again, and the six remains your alternating bass note. The six on the third string, so it's A turning to A seven. Okay, so, and then you have, it's D over F sharp, so you put 3, 2, and 2 on strings, 2, 3, and 6. I use my thumb, you can use a finger, the thumb is actually a lot more comfortable, and you play the F sharp bass, and then, okay, 3, 0 on the E string, 3 on the B string, and that's basically it. The alternating bass note is, again, six and four. Okay? Now you can play the whole chord. And then you have... Okay, so you can put this. Okay? It's uh, an F chord. It's one, two, three on strings, two, three, and four, with one on the sixth string. Okay? You can put this on. Okay? This contraption right here. Okay? Because you need... Okay, one and three on string six and four for the bass notes. The thumb is again a lot more comfortable. Okay, and the idea is uh, zero hammer on to one, pull off to zero on the second string, two on the third string, open second string again, and then ending on the two on the third string again, all while playing the Travis picking. Okay, so you get this. this. Okay, it's a um, bass turnaround, a walking bass turnaround, back to the second part, the main part. So it's A5, okay, 2, 2, 0 on strings 3, 4, and 5, okay, you can just bar strings 3 and 4 on 2, and then, okay, 2, 4, 5 on the 5th string, 2 on the 4th, and then... 0, 2, 4 on the 6th rank. Then you immediately play okay, the second part. So... Okay. And let's just recap this, uh, this part, okay? Because it was long. The A, the A major,
major slide. You repeat it three times. And then the turn around. Okay, A to A7. D over F sharp. F. Okay, it's hard to talk and play Travis Picking at the same time, I apologize. Um, so, um, you play the last part, and then you uh, kind of repeat this. Okay, you don't kind of repeat it, you repeat it. You repeat it three times. Okay, three times. And then you have F. Okay, and then... Okay, bass, chord, 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 and then you have E9. Okay, it's 3-3-1 three, three, on strings 1, 2, and 3. So you play the bass. Okay, so... Okay, um, I think in the original it's uh, three times. It's bass, chord, 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 okay, uh, unlike the previous ending. Okay, and then you have... Okay, the ending. So, um, F, and then E9, and then you have a pentatonic lick. Five on the E string, eight on the B string, and then, okay, uh, the double pull-off, eight, seven, five on the third string, okay, and then it's seven, five hammer on to seven on the fourth string, or you don't have to even hammer it on. And then... 5, 5, 5 on strings 1, 2, and 3, and the open A string, or you can slide into it if you like, um, or just keep it simple. Okay, and that's windy and warm. So, you can go download the tab, the link is below in the description, the tab is for free of course, these lessons are for free, everything on Lick and Riff is for free. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? There's a ton of lessons, free lessons, check the playlists, you'll be pleasantly surprised, there's a ton of lessons, literally tons, hundreds of lessons. Um, and um, everything is for free of course, including the tab. But if you want to give something back anyway and help out in making these lessons to help me produce more lessons, um, I'd be more than happy and grateful for your generosity. There's a Patreon page. The link is in the description as well. You can pledge to give whatever you like to give or you can donate via the old donation button, the PayPal donation button on the website. So whatever you choose to give, I thank you in advance for it. And uh, everything goes right back into Lick and Riff, into making your lessons, your guitar education. So thank you very much. I thank you in advance. And I thank you for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.